Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. We will start out with our almanac today. Uh, got some cloud cover, got a little precipitation this morning, but uh, nevertheless, still managed to get up into the, well, we'll call it the upper 50s, 57 degrees officially. Uh, still just about 10 degrees below our average. Our average high is still there at 66. Uh, record high, 96 degrees. We're getting close to that triple digit record high. That was set back way in 1934. Uh, our low 41 degrees, so it's pretty mild out there with all the cloud cover. Uh, temperatures right now are in the lower 50s. There is a live look to the south from Bismarck. It's 54 degrees. Uh, a bit breezy out there. Uh, wind out of the northeast right now, 13 miles per hour. Temperatures across the board here in the 40s and 50s. Pretty cool to the southwest there in Bowman and Hedinger at 48 degrees. The rest of us are right now in the 50s. Uh, some upper 50s back to the west still. And there are those winds. Winds are now out of the north as we have seen that cold front pass through. Look at Harvey sustained wind there at 22 miles per hour. So yeah, winds are pretty breezy. It's cloudy and uh, we still have a few showers kind of lingering. You can see up towards the north there, clearing skies. So yeah, the skies are clearing behind this front, but still as the cold front moves through, we're getting just a little bit of light shower activity. Looks like right over the central part of the state. In fact, just have a few light rain showers moving through Bismarck at the moment. So might be a few sprinkles going on out there. Nothing too severe or serious or uh, really wet at all. Not like what they're seeing in Minnesota right now. Look at this system. My goodness. This is a lot of rain and in fact, a lot of thunder snow going on right now in Duluth. They are getting hammered out towards the central part of Minnesota. Winter not giving up just yet, but you can see uh, for better or worse, and I think a lot of people will say for better, we are missing out on that system. All right, there's our cold front coming on through, just giving us a few light sprinkles right now. It will gradually move off towards the east and kind of fizzle on out. Uh, not a uh, strong front. Here is high pressure moving on in. That is going to clear our skies across the board tonight. That will really lower that temperature. It's going to be a very cold night out there tonight into early tomorrow morning. Number of spots would not be surprised to see get down in towards the 20s. However, that will mean lots of sunshine out there tomorrow. So temperatures will warm up quickly and we'll see, still see highs into the 50s and lower 60s, but I suspect with all the sunshine out there, it'll feel pretty decent. Now tomorrow night, it'll remain clear. Maybe a few clouds sneaking on here by early Friday morning. We will, however, start to see more clouds moving in by Friday afternoon. You can see why barreling on in from the Canadian Prairie is a low pressure system that will include some more showers and possibly some thunderstorms by late Friday night. We'll watch for that. Here's a three day forecast for Dickinson. Again, warming up on Friday too. I should know Friday looks to be uh, pretty mild out there. Get a chance to rain Friday night into Saturday. Williston, well, you're going to be looking at temperatures. How about that? Upper 60s by Friday with some more clouds and a chance for rain Friday night into early Saturday morning. Lows tonight, I told you it's going to be a cold one out there. Again, 20s and low 30s. Your highs tomorrow. Temperatures on their way into the 50s, but it will come with a little sunshine, so it should feel rather pleasant out there. All right, your seven day forecast for Minot. A lot of sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures will be warming up on Friday. It does come with some clouds and then that next system sweeps through. It'll give us some showers this weekend. It also take note will be very windy. It looks like by the beginning of the weekend as that system moves through. However, winds calm down on Sunday and temperatures warm up and you'll notice a lot of 60s and 70s by next week. Guys, we are turning the corner here uh, <laughs> in terms of uh, warmth and uh, and more dry weather coming up next yeah. week. And never okay. looking back. Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs>